So here I want to take a quick look at using the Chrome DevTools Heap Snapshot Profiler to um, learn a little bit about how JavaScript closures work um, with a little simple web page. And here is the web page. It just shows some text, but if you look at the source, move it down to a new tab, you can see it behind the scenes there's a function um, that has some local variables it returns a function that um, is the sum of the three of the three of the variables um, so that's a property and that's kind of all it does now what I would like to do is see okay after it's run this script the page is sitting here what's in memory um, can you see properties of the closure or what I think it's also called the variable context for some of these things that are hanging around. Um, so the way to take a peek at that is to select this guy, go to developer tools. I'm going to make it a little bigger here. So again, these dev tools is watching this page. I'm going to take a snapshot. Now what I want to go look at, and this is kind of hard to navigate, at least I found it hard to navigate, there's a ton of stuff in here. And again, this is a two megabyte snapshot for that little page because there's all sorts of stuff hanging around in memory. But what I care about is the stuff associated with this window right here. It creates three of these. I have no idea why, but let's see if we can go find the object. It's, it's a little tricky to make it Bit right too. Oh, it's gonna be a little tricky. Make it a little smaller. Boom. Okay. Let's see how that works. So, what I want to do is find this variable a thing. It should be somewhere. It's not real easy to find, but you can do it. Let's see. Scroll down a little bit. I'm looking. Are you there? Are you there? Did I go over? There he is. So this is the guy hanging around. You can take some peeks at him. Here's some properties, the prototype. There's some code. Um, what I care about, there's two things. One, this D, which has value property D. That's because of that line of code right there. But also, I want to see, like, what are these things that it had to keep around um, in the closure? So look, it's called the context. Let's pop it open. Um, so there are a few things here. There's A. Um, where's Waldo? Well, Waldo's hanging around. It's here I am. It says here I am because Waldo was set to here I am right there. Um, this local number was a local variable set within the function. Um, it's also returned there. And couple things to point out here is this variable the beef you might wonder well where's the beef over here it's not hanging around and I think what's going on it, it is that the um, V8 engine knew that it could garbage collect this variable because it's not needed for anything the variable a Waldo and um, local number are needed because the thing that get this function got returned and this object might get called again so it, it holds on to them for a similar reason this variable B which I passed this something extra to it um, is not over here anywhere and that's again because it's not needed it can get rid of it um, so that's really all I want to show here this heap snapshot thing um, is a little tricky to navigate I'm still kind of getting used to it, and um, but it still can provide a whole lot of information if you're kind of just coming to speed, up to speed with some of the internals of JavaScript that um, that are really interesting, like closures. So that's about it for this one.